Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. <clears throat> Short message that I want to share with you, a fascinating insight I discovered. Actually, I got uh, the screen uh, shot here is from Chuck Missler's uh, site there. I was listening to some of his broadcasts lately uh, about the Assyrian, the empires, things like that, because I'm working on a specific message on Nimrod uh, from some new intel that I had gotten about that got some updates about nimrod wanted to share that that'll be over on our patreon channel but i'm also looking at some of the biblical applications so eventually it'll be over on stephen benoon uh at youtube as well but uh in the beginning there we'll put it over on patreon also some very disturbing intel about the civil war that's coming to this nation something that uh I did not anticipate at all. That will be on iConnectFX.com, Israeli News Live. I'm hoping to be able to get all this information together uh, by, hopefully even by, uh, well, no later than Sunday. Let's go, let's shoot for that as a time frame there. But, uh, and, and I can't begin to tell you the meetings that I've been in here. Uh, I'm in an undisclosed location. Uh, I am in uh, the southern states right now and meeting uh, having some very high level meetings there and so i'm wanting to be able to get some information to you that i'm permitted to share with you uh, we've also talked about trump and and what happened there that's going to have a lot to do with the coming civil war and uh, but it's not the kind of civil war you would think that's very disturbing and that's what i need to share with you so uh, I, I have to be very careful in that presentation but in, in looking at something that Chuck put out here, uh, he actually had a different definition for the, let, for the word ahav. He was working on a whole different issue. He was talking about Aleph, Bet. Uh, uh, and then he goes into different letters, constructing the words that we have, like the letter Aleph, Bet, which would be uh, this letter here and that last letter there, which make the word Av or Father, Av or Abba, as a lot of times we so uh, affectionately say. Uh, Jesus referred to his father as Abba. And, uh, and then the letter He, which comes from the word breath. Now, Aleph also comes from the word nose. It can also be denoted as the beginning or father uh, or, 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 you know, the, the leader type of thing. So there's a lot of different ways that that can be noted. And I forget how Chuck brought this out, but he didn't bring it out the way that I saw it. When I looked at this, what blew me away is that it's literally the father's love or the father breathing on the house. All right, because the letter bet is house. And uh, in the Paleo Hebrew, it shows like a tent or pier. I thought the pyramid was just kind of ironic. I mean, there goes your conspiracy theorist right there. Think about that, right? But it's the father breathing on the house, and that's the father's love when you create the word love, right? I mean, how many of you immediately do you go to John 3, 16 when you think of that, right? I did. Uh, that, was, that wasn't the first one I went to, but I could not help to think of John 3, 16. For God so loved the world, or the Father so loved, it's not the physical world, but his children, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on him, should not perish but have everlasting life. So the Father's love would be so great that it would cause an everlasting life. How would that be? Well, it all goes into the redemption story. And I've taught the redemption story. And one day I really want to teach it deeper than you could ever imagine. I mean, redemption is so, so deep, so rich, so beautiful. And a lot of people just don't get it, right? But in Genesis, we have right there, Then the Lord God formed man. Yehovah Elohim et ha'adama, afad min ha'adama. Okay, he forms him from the earth itself. Ve'ipak bepa'av nishmar chayim. Now, he breathes in his nostrils the breath of life. There are some people who are going to focus on not just the Lord God right there, but Jehovah Elohim, and they, like to, they really want to put an emphasis, and they start thinking about that word Elohim. I'm going to leave that alone for right now, but <clears throat> I will tell you this. Those of you that really like to think deeply, this is why we have to have redemption. He breathes in his nostrils, or he breathes into what? He breathed into the house. 
that breath of life. All right? He breathed into that house the breath of life. There it is. The Father, breath, and the house. Wow, isn't that fascinating? And it makes the word love. So when we read in, in John chapter 20, or chapter 3, excuse me, verse 16, for God so loved the world, or the Father so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever, whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. How would that manifest? Well, we find out in John chapter 20, and in verse, we'll start at verse 20, and when he said, when he had so said, he showed unto him, them his hands and his side, then were his disciples glad. Then they saw the Lord, excuse me, when they saw the Lord, then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you, as my Father has sent me, even so send I you. And when he had said this, <clears throat> here it comes. Watch right here. Let's blow it up. Make sure we get this big to see it, right? He breathed on them and said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Spirit, or the Holy Ghost. He breathed. On them literally what was he doing he also Jesus as a representation of the father and he is also known as the father too he's also known as the father right he breathes on their house and they receive the Holy Spirit think of that that's the father's love the Father's love was His Son. He gave His only Son that whosoever shall believe on Him should not perish, but what? Have everlasting life. And how do they get it? When He breathes on their house. When He breathes on your house and you receive the Holy Spirit, then you have a completion of the love of Jesus Christ. It is absolutely amazing. I'm blown away by it. Totally blown away by it. So I had to share that with you guys this morning. And I want to show that to you one more time, that image of that right there. Uh, let me just see if I can make that even bigger for you. Gosh, uh, yeah, let's just make it bigger so you can see that there. There it is. The Father's breath on the house, see, is love. And when the Father so loved the world, God so loved the world, he gave his only son. That was his true love, his heart, his desire, that if he would breathe upon the house you would have his love. Think of that. That is absolutely amazing, friends. Listen, I want to tell you too, real quick. Uh, I haven't had a chance much to talk to you about this, but I do. I, I just want to encourage you, please. We thank you, those of you that are supporting the ministry. Uh, I, we do. Me and my wife have been talking about. It. We got to sit down and write you guys to thank you for your kindness. You're what keep this going. And we have not done that in a while, and I apologize for that. Uh, but please continue to support the work. A lot is going on, a tremendous a lot. You can see, like on the top of our videos, IsraeliNewsLive.org takes you to our website. The mailing address, Stephen Ben Noon, P.O. Box 156, Sun Bright, Tennessee 37872. If you click right there online, doesn't matter what your card is, you can donate. Uh, iConnectFX.com is fixing to allow it to where we can also, you can donate through there. Uh, so we thank you for that. We thank you for your love for this ministry and your help of this ministry. Uh, I haven't talked about the EMP shield in a while, but I think it is very vital that I talk about it briefly right now for you, mainly because I failed to put the one for the house on my house. And those storms that hit Kentucky, uh, while we were out west there, and or no, actually that was while we were there, but while we, while we were gone, we were getting pummeled by the storms as well, and the lightning took out our television at the house there as well. The EMP shield, if I'd have just had it installed, would, would have been worth the money because I wouldn't have lost the TV, uh, you know, and not that that's a great loss. Maybe it do me some good not to have one in the house in the first place. Not that we watch it very often. It's like a rarity for us to even sit down and look at it. Now, normally, if I do, I'm looking at research things, you know, uh, history channel things, things like that, to where I can kind of gauge on some things I'm studying about. But nonetheless, had I had it, it wouldn't have happened. 
And a lot of the meetings I've been in here lately is that the government is not going to tell you what's really going on. They're going to downplay it and say it's just what's an unusual year. That's the way they're going to tell you. Uh, these storms are going to get worse. This morning, as I'm going downstairs at the hotel where I'm at, they had on the news again, uh, Arizona, New Mexico, uh, California, the desert, being pummeled by massive thunderstorms and rain all over again. And this stuff they tell me is going to go right on through the end of the year. And, you know, I know that we were off on the timing. But you guys remember when I was first telling you about these crazy storms that were going to happen and, and hail that's going to be the size of softballs, which we did have that. And we did have the, the storms up uh, across the northwest where there were over 100 mile an hour winds. We had all that has already taken place. It's going to continue to take place, though, is the problem. Uh, we have not had the hypercanes that I told you were coming. But... I was told recent in this in the meetings that I was in here that even they're surprised that it has delayed as much as it has. And I've been told that a lot of this has to do with the sun. Uh, and, and I think CERN's involved. In fact, we're going to be getting into Nimrod. All these other scriptures you see up here, I'm preparing for Nimrod. That's going to actually be on our Patreon Israeli News Live channel. Uh, I will make that one public available. Uh, it might be a week or so later after I first air it. Uh, because it's not not critical, but the intel is very fascinating. Uh, but the situation here that I'm about to share, though, uh, also is going to be about the coming civil war in this country. Uh, but let me, before I get off of this thing about EMP Shield, don't forget INL50. You got to use that coupon code. It saves you the fifty dollars. You see, I did it here just as an example. Um, but if God lays it upon your heart to do this for your family, do so. Because these storms are not going to change, and the lightning and stuff that goes with it. And, you know, not even, I'm not even looking at the the electric magnetic pulse issue of this. I'm just looking at this thing. And 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 a friend of mine in the government told me he said it's like ten times better than any surge protector you could buy. He said it is super duper charged for that purpose. Um, so I just wanted to encourage you go to EMPShield.com, use the INL50 coupon code. It doesn't matter if you buy one product. Or 20 of them. I don't, I'm not encouraging you to buy 20. But in other words, every time you buy the product, use the code. Every time it'll give you that discount. So if you got three products, it'll take 150 off, not just 50. Uh, so just so you're aware of that. Um, we are going to be talking about Civil War. That was absolutely disturbing what I found out about Civil War coming. And it's not what we thought. I will tell you that. It does, politics is going to have a lot to do with it, but it is a totally different reason, and infrastructure has already been being built for this civil war. So i got to get into that with you guys as well. Um, you know, this whole issue with Nimrod, I, I, I'm just, my head is swimming in, 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 the, in the information that I have been uh, accumulating to share with you guys. So please bear with me. Be patient with me this weekend here. I'll try to get that out. But I had to share this beautiful message this morning with you there of the love of God and how that love of God is breathed upon us. I don't think anybody has ever picked up on that before. Uh, Chuck was very close in what he was talking about, Chuck Missler. And I, I miss Chuck. I, I wish I could have gotten to know him better. He was very kind after we interviewed together. And also later, Chuck, we, we, we would I could I could contact him and he would talk to me, would answer questions and stuff. And and he would actually ask me questions. And that was kind of amazing. He would he, he valued my input. And that was the humility of this man. Uh, he's greatly missed, greatly missed. And, and if he differed with you, he did it in a loving way. Uh, and the same with me with him. You know, if I differ with him on theology or something like that, I have to do it in a loving way. But 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 he he, he was a wonderful man, and I really appreciate. Uh, uh, so I have to say I'm kind of indebted that he put this up there, or I wouldn't have discovered what I did. God bless you guys. Thank you for listening. IsraeliNewsLive.org, our website, just so you remember there. And thank you, and God bless you.